it's better coming from this way. Look here, body built for the beach. Huh. Do you got that ocean? Body served the whole tree. <laughs> body served on me. Oh, don't stop. Don't. But do it like you fucking mean it. Like, okay. don't stop. Okay. Yeah. Listo. Listo. Vamos. This is where my father's side of the family is from. We haven't visited here ever before, so it would be a first time for me and my brother, and it would be kind of like a guy's trip, you know? Like, we're going to Mexico, we're gonna do some cool shit. It's gonna be amazing. My name is Miguel. I'm a singer, songwriter, and producer from Los Angeles, California. 2015, I put Wild Heart, my third studio album out, which was nominated for two Grammys. Since then, I've gone all over the globe playing my music. But the one place I've never been is Mexico, where one side of my family is originally from. So I decided to go down to Michoacan, a state on the Pacific coast in Mexico, and learn a bit more about where I come from. We decided to start our trip in Zamora, a place that up until this trip, I'd only seen in photos. Music is in my blood. Growing up, music was always in my family. It's where it all started from. Most people think of me solely as a black artist, but there's a reason why my name is Miguel. My father's from Mexico, and in search for a better life, he and his family came to the U.S. before I was born. So until now, I haven't been able to come back. Walking down the street in Zamora, Michoacan. That's why I took my dad and my brother with me, to find the Mexico we've been missing. To see the challenges it's facing, the people that are affected, and the culture some people are fighting to preserve. We're here to find their stories, hey. as well as my family's and my own. We started at the radio station where my grandmother used to sing with her sisters. It was a very powerful, emotional experience. Hola, gente, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Saludotes, bienvenidos. Tenemos para usted una enorme sorpresa. Miguel Pimentel, quien tiene el gusto por la música ahora. Bueno, pues mire, la historia es de que su abuela, la señora Clara Pimentel, ella fue eh, participante de esta empresa, de esta estación de radio. ¿Cómo es que te empezó a gustar la música, a entrar en este ambiente de la música? ¿Y qué tipo de música más te gusta cantar? Creo que es un par de mi sangre, que tengo música en mi, en, en mi cuerpo. De Okay. Eh, y así, así que, así, sí, te, claro, sí. y, y, y me gustó, me, uh, me gusta todo tipo de música. I performed in a lot of places and I haven't felt the kind of nervousness that I did at the radio station, ever. You know, you want to make your family proud and I think that's, that's a different kind of like pressure. Adelante, creo que veo aquí muchos eh, que van a tocar algo a capela. Sí, lo malo es que tenemos una sorpresita porque este, tenemos una canción de Los Panchos. Oh. Se la aprendí sí, sí. este, contigo y este, nuestra arreglo, arreglo, así es que... 
Before we went on this trip, I obviously sat down with my grandparents and wanted to know as much about the songs that remind them of that time. And Los Panchos have a couple songs that are not only my grandmother's favorites, but my grandfather's favorites. They're just beautiful songs, and they say a lot about that time and the people that come from that time. Bueno, adelante los micrófonos. Muchas gracias. Vamos. Tus besos se llegaron a recrear aquí en mi boca, llenando de ilusión y de pasión mi vida loca. My brother, my father, and I all love music. And growing up, it was like there was music around all the time. But we never really played together, practiced together like this, ever. My grandmother had a passion for music, and she got married to my grandfather, and they had a family. After getting married and having children, my grandmother moved up to the States to hopefully bring the family over. She started as a cleaning lady. Piece by piece, the family started coming up. She had to sacrifice, and somehow that spirit and determination has got me to where I am. So coming back to where it all starts for us is like really impactful. Tanta dulzura. <laughs> Good job, bro. Good job, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, Peppa. Are you sure? It was. I, I loved it. I was. I was nervous. So we stopped by my aunt's flower shop. We decided to say hello and to let them know that we were in town. And if everyone was free, that we wanted to have dinner. Miguel, Miguel, how are you? This is my hijo Miguel. Mucho gusto. Te acuerdas de él? Este es Nicolás. Carmen. Hola, mija. ¿Cómo estás? There's just so many aspects of this trip: family, and then there's like a whole culture that, like, I knew existed, but I never really got into it, you know what I mean? Are they going to be able to join us, sir? Nos van a poder este, acompañar hoy en la noche. Ahí los vemos a las 7 en la Pantera Rosa. Sí, cáiganle toda la familia y le dicen a quien nos falte. You have the whole family and they're just like, ah, oh, all the love that they receive. It's surreal, really. Sí. Yes. Got it? You get a sense that food being in season and being fresh is not even a thought. It's an expectation. That's just how it always is. It's like a way of life. El maíz is the staple food in Mexican culture. It's become a way of life for the working people that support the cultural diet. And you start to notice the difference in the quality of how things taste. You really start to appreciate the kind of time and effort that goes into your food. Thank goodness we can eat. Gracias. Hello, hello, hello! What I appreciate most about my Latino heritage is that I have a really strong sense of family. That's definitely what makes this trip significant. And so I, I kind of get a deeper connection with my heritage. No sé. I met an entire side of my family that I'd never met before. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.